Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. I've got a quick little video this week. Uh, this is a part two in the restoration series of the gas pumps. Uh, so I've got a, a box here, uh, an original box for the, the BP set of pumps. Um, and as you can see, this box overall is not in bad shape. It just seems to have a lot of issues kind of all around the place. Um, lots of these little tears at the corners, um, almost every corner, every side of the box has a tear in it. Uh, the bottom here, you can see we've got a, a heavy fold crease where it started to tear some of the cardboard, the paper on the bottom here. So definitely a box worth saving. Um, nothing major, no, no major missing pieces or huge issues on this. Just a lot of small repairs, just a lot of little issues that we're going to try to correct today. So uh, to begin with, our first step is going to be to press this box. Uh, it's usually where I start with most of my restorations. Um, a quick press just with a regular household clothes iron. Uh, I've got this set to medium heat with no steam. Uh, I don't need the steam. Uh, I worry about interjecting any uh, moisture humidity into the cardboard that, that I don't really need. Uh, usually the heat is enough to get everything to kind of lay flat. And so I'm just using a, a medium heat on this right now. Quick press across just to work out any of the wrinkles um, and kind of prepare this for all of the rest of the repairs we'll do. So process is pretty uh, simple, straightforward. Um, don't want to leave the iron on too long or in one spot too long because I don't want to burn anything. But uh, I'm just going to work through these uh, kind of one at a time. You see this, this main flap here seems to be a little bit loose and that's because we got a tear running probably about a third of the way across that end flap. To do a lot of these tear repairs, I like using this uh, mending tissue. This is a, a product that's made for uh, archival restoration of uh, important documents um, and it works really, really well on these box repairs. Uh, the the tape itself or the tissue, it, it comes on a roll, so it, it's kind of like tape. Um, it's got an adhesive on one side and a, a backing piece. Um, it's very, very sticky, so I usually find it helps me to kind of start peeling the backing off a little bit. Um, if you peel the, the whole backing on, the tissue is just going to fold. It's instantly going to stick to itself and uh, tends to have a lot of problems. So I'll just barely get it started and get it stuck. And then I can slowly, sometimes with my fingers, sometimes with a, a set of tweezers, uh, peel that backing paper away and make sure that as I peel it away that that tissue lays flat, stays flat, um, and that I get a nice seamless repair over the joint or over the tear that I'm trying to fix. So as you can see, it's not difficult. Um, it does take a little finesse, a little getting used to, um, to, to really learn how to work well with this stuff. But uh, I use it a lot in my repairs. Um, and I, I, when I started doing these box restorations, um, I used almost exclusively a, a water-based paper tape. And uh, there's still a time and a place for that. But I was turned on to this mending tissue actually by a couple of my viewers. Um, and so I've, I've used that ever since. And it seems to uh, be a really great product. Uh, so thank you to my viewers who uh, messaged and commented and said, uh, you know, look into this stuff because I think this would do a better job of uh, repairing what you're trying to do here. So it was a great tip. Um, so I'm just going to keep working around here. Got another tear on the inside. Uh, and you can see very straightforward, same process. I'm going to get it started and then slowly peel it back. The, uh, the little burnishing tool that I'm using here, it's a bone uh, burnishing tool. Um, and I've got a link for that, the mending tissue, uh, the adhesive, basically most of the tools that I use in these restorations. Uh, I've got Amazon links to where I ordered them. Um, and so if you are trying to repair a box yourself uh, or you, you want to look into any of these methods or any of these products, um, check out the description below. I've got the links for all the stuff that I use in there. You can see this tear here. I'm actually going to turn, and it's in a really awkward position from the way that I 
press this box, but um, I'm gonna turn the tissue and use it the other direction. Um, and here you can really see kind of how I've got started. Uh, just the very edge of that tissue is stuck down. And then as I peel that backing away, I wanna make sure that I'm working tight across that tear. Um, and I kind of almost have to work on it from, from the outside in. Um, so again, it's the same, same repair, very straightforward but uh, sometimes it, it can be a little tricky to get into some of these situations. Uh, I got big fat fingers and so that's why I rely on my uh, tweezers a lot. For some of these repairs, um, especially the ones that are on the outside of the box where they would be visible, I don't want to see the repair. Uh, I, I don't wanna have to look at the mending tissue and see um, where something has been taped over or or stuck down. And so uh, the tear side on the outside of the box, I tend to rely on this uh, neutral pH or acid-free um, adhesive. And it's just, uh, it's glue. Uh, and you don't have to use uh, the, the archival quality stuff. I think uh, when I started, I used plain white Elmer's and, and that worked well. Um, after a while, I was worried uh, just about the, the longevity of that over time, if that glue is gonna yellow um, and, and break down. And so I've switched over to using the line co adhesive, which is really great stuff and very easy to work with. But um, I tend to find that the, the easiest way to apply it is to squeeze a little bit out onto my toothpicks and just work them down into those cracks. Um, this, uh, this end flap here on the box, I am going to end up reinforcing this um, a little bit later here in, in the video. Uh, the, the tears that are there, I wanted to just use the mending tissue as kind of a first step or first pass in that. Um, we've got a couple other issues on this box that really need a little bit stronger enforcement. And so um, I am going to use my paper tape method on that. But uh, for now, I wanted to at least get all the the fibers in there uh, stuck down and kind of prepare it for that next repair that is coming. So look, uh, looking at the ends of the box here, got one more tear down on this end. Uh, so I'm gonna work through a couple more of these and uh, try to wrap up the last of the uh, mending tissue repairs and then we'll jump over to the paper tape. So on the, uh, the bottom edge of the box here, you can see this heavy crease and this big tear uh, down here in the corner. Um, this is obviously the, the worst uh, part of this box, uh, the, the biggest repair that I'm gonna end up needing to make. Um, and I'm gonna start up here in the corner with this tear. Um, you can see as this cardboard has kind of uh, weathered and um, over the years, uh, that that tear has been worsened. Uh, the layers within the cardboard kind of start to separate. And so when I look at a repair like this, uh, I always start at the deepest layer of the cardboard and I use a little of the, the neutral uh, pH adhesive here. Um, and I just put a little bit down uh, in between each of those layers slowly working from the inside of the box all the way to the outside. And uh, I find that that tends to give me the, the best uh, end finish on the repair um, and keeping those layers from separating. Um, that, that wouldn't be possible with just the mending tissue because it's, it's a surface-based application. So uh, finding the right method for uh, repairing each one of these issues 
um, is usually the, the biggest challenge with these. And so on the surface tears and any time I've got something that's kind of fragmenting or that cardboard's coming apart in different layers, uh, I like to use the adhesive over the tissue. Now, to fix this large kind of crack or bend in the, in the cardboard, I'm using a little bit of my water-based paper tape. Uh, this is a tape, it's usually made for shipping and packaging a cardboard box. Um, it's got a water-based adhesive on one side and it's a really, really super sticky glue. Um, it works really well and uh, it, it's about identical in color to the, uh, the dark or darker tan kind of brown color of these original boxes. And so when I make the repairs, you know, from the inside piece of the box, it's almost invisible. Uh, you, you can't really tell that it's been repaired. And what this paper tape is gonna do is reinforce the cardboard on the backside and give it a little more strength and rigidity. It's gonna keep that panel from bending and hopefully it will keep that uh, surface printing from opening up and getting any worse. Now, as you can see, uh, I, I over cut or I cut left long um, my paper tape. And so uh, it comes all the way out to reinforce those end flaps. And all I'm doing now is using my little mini shears here to come in and trim right along the side of the end flap. Uh, the sides of this repair inside the box um, are hidden in the crease in the fold of the box. And so, uh, you know, to the, the average person, even when you open up this box and you look at the inside, uh, you're not gonna see this repair. And uh, that's always my intention uh, with any of these. I wanna be as, uh, as unobtrusive as I can and, you know, try to keep the original character and look of the box intact. And this paper tape method really does a nice job of that. Um, the last thing I'm going to do now that I've got these end flaps, I was, I was a little scared to, uh, to do too much with the uh, surface layers that were separating on these end flaps because I thought if I pull at these, they're just going to come right off. <clears throat> and so I wanted to wait until I had my paper tape repairs done so I had a little bit of reinforcement behind these end flaps and now I can go in with my adhesive method and glue back some of those layers that were separating. So this is a really good example uh, where I've made the repair to the tear that was on this end flap uh, using my mending tissue on the inside. Now that's a surface based repair and so uh, it's only attached to the, the lower um, layer of this cardboard and you can see here all these upper layers have kind of torn and fragmented and so uh, the the Mending tissue works great on the inside to hold that surface in place, but I really need the adhesive on the outside to finish everything else up. You'll see here, uh, as I worked through uh, these repairs and did a couple of uh, uh, presses with my hot iron, uh, there was a price tag sticker uh, that originally was sitting here on the end of the box. And usually I leave these in place because I think they tell part of the history and story of the box. and. This one came off, and since it came off on its own, um, I, I'm not gonna go back and, and put it on. Uh, I'll probably just stick that into my little box of parts and, and keep it as a nice reminder uh, piece of this. So uh, it wasn't my intention to remove the price tag sticker. I usually leave those on, they don't bother me at all, but this one came off, so I'm just gonna leave it off. And that uh, that's gonna complete our repairs. Uh, for the accessory kit box for the BP gas pumps. 
So here's our finished restored box. Um, as I said, this one wasn't in bad shape to begin with, just seemed to have uh, a lot of little minor issues. Things were easily fixed or corrected. Um, you know, not difficult repairs to make, just a lot of them for uh, one little box here. Um, I, I really enjoy doing these. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this as well, uh, give me a like down below. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and, you know, your suggestions. Like I said, a lot of these box repair methods I use now because of uh, viewer suggestions. So uh, I want to know what you think and what you'd like to see me try on the channel. As always, join us next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.